In today's video, I'm gonna break down a yellowtail and I'm gonna cook some fish. I've had the opportunity to fillet several yellowtail in my life. Once you guys start filleting a lot of fish, you'll figure out how to cut the fish up to yield the most meat. After you fillet a lot of fish, you start figuring out how you like to cut them, how you like to prepare them, what the process is, what the breakdown is, and you put that together and make it easy when you get a lot of fish on the deck. So I have some good looking yellowtail on ice. Let's go ahead and get after them. Here we have four yellowtail that we caught at Coronado Islands on the surface iron. They've been on ice all day, so they're pretty firm. And we're gonna go ahead and cut them up. We're gonna flay them up. These smaller fish, they're a little easier to flay. When you get to the bigger fish, you can be more intricate with them. An eight inch Forster flay knife. So kind of a standard flay knife that we use here in Southern California. All right, my dudes. We got the bigger of the fish here. It's probably 15 pound. All right, let's go ahead and get after it. So you can poke it right there, get the knife in, cut around the collar, up towards the head, make that nice cut. Let's do the opposite side as well. Get that collar cut. Get that stomach cut right there. Now this is, this is the way I, I like to flay them. So I like to run the knife right over the spine. So I'm trying to get all that meat. There we go. That's what you want to hear. That means you're hitting bone. It's a good sound right there. Flip them over, do the same thing. Get that knife right out. Here's the dorsal fin right here. So we're just gonna go right above the dorsal fin, get the knife in there. Then just start making nice, smooth cuts on it. Hear that? There she is, there's the bone. You can go up with the knife. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Very nice cuts. Let's take care of that tail. I'm gonna start right here, nice hard spot. Get the knife in there. Find that bone again. There she goes. Do this side as well. Here's that hard spot right there. There we go. got the knife going all the way through here. Bigger fish, so might be a little bit more of an issue. We're gonna have to break those rib bones here with the knife. Let's try to break them. There we go. We got it away. Nice piece of meat, came off that fish. We can go ahead and take these collars as well if we want. So there you go, we have two really nice pieces of fish here. This is that bigger fish. Again, all caught on the surface iron, fun way to do it. Well, bigger piece of fish, so I basically like to cut it right here and then right there. So it gives me a couple sections here. So I'm gonna chunk it up anyways, so I kinda do it right away. So let's get after it. Here's the belly. And where the belly stops is where I normally put my first cut in. Separated. Let's just do production line style. Separated. So we have, now we have the two halves and we have the two tails. Again, here's the bloodline. Let's run the, run the knife. There we go. Separate that nice upper loin from the bottom. And this fish has been iced for a day. It's been chilled, so it's really firm, easy to work with. Now look at this. Two loins, 
two tails, two stomachs. Let's deal with those stomachs last. Here's the yellow tail with the skin on. Here's its meat. Again, I'm gonna take that knife, run it on that bloodline, run it on that bloodline, basically on the side of the bloodline. So the bloodline's in the middle. Get a little grabber here. Remove that skin. Remove that bloodline. And then you have two nice pieces of fish here. This stuff can be taken care of right before cooking. You can spend a lot of time manicuring it right before it gets to the dinner table. So what we did there was we're gonna cut the bloodline out first. Grab yourself a little handles here. There you go. Just wanna make a nice easy process here. And I mean, these loins are beautiful right here. They're too big to store in the refrigerator or Ziploc, so I just go right in the middle right away. I mean, that's beautiful looking sushi grade stuff. And then you can just zip them right off of the skin, just like that. Use the skin as a handle. You guys see what's going on here, right? I mean, it could be, flame fish is, is super easy. There we go, look at that. Two sides of the fish broken down minus the bellies. Now we can do anything we want with these fish right here, including eating it raw. And then I just bag them up and I deal with the rest of the manicuring of the fish inside, you know, a nice, a nice clean environment. So I heard those bellies, they're in great condition. There's a lot of meat and fat in the bellies. That's why people like to eat them. I mean, we could just take them right now, put a marinade on them, them ready for smoke, or we can, you know, carve them up a little bit. So the choice is up to you. A lot of, a lot of people throw this piece away because they just don't want to deal with it. Skin on, there's a film here and there's bone. Let's go ahead and try to do something with these things. Just cut right through that whole thing. Cut right through it. Bloodline attack to flay job attack. Flay those bones out. Bam! Would you look at that? We got one right here. Square this thing up a little bit. That's a nice piece of meat right there. That is the belly meat with the bones flayed out. Oh, it's another nice flay job right there. Look at that, I flayed, flayed the junk right off that. So that's successful. All right, guys, you saw how I broke that fish down. I just took it down production line style, got after it one side at a time, and I was able to zip off all that meat. Everything looks really good. Now I take that meat and I bring it in the house and I manicure it there. I trim up all the parts that I don't want in the house. It's a cleaner environment and I can really spend time on the meat and making sure it's perfect. All right, guys, let's go ahead and prepare this yellowtail two different ways. First, ceviche, and then let's do a spicy pokey.
That was delicious. I love both those simple preparations for that yellowtail. Pretty simple. All right, guys, thanks again for all the support you're giving War Baits and the channel. We're growing and it's because of you guys. If something in this video inspired you, drop a like, subscribe. I appreciate it. Fishing can be fun, but it also can be delicious. So get out there and go fishing. Hook that giant.